It's a beautiful morning. It's snowy, but it's beautiful. Okay, so in the shave, I'm going to be featuring the uh, new razor sent to me by Sheldon Quinn. He gave me two. Uh, this one is the Espresso, which is solid Nordic brass. So no coatings. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll talk more about these. I'll kind of re restate what I said in my last short video. And this is the Americano, which is brass with gunmetal coating and gold plating, which is, wow, very, very handsome, handsome razor. These are um, kind of based on the Gillette Tech, which I just, I held it up was also the Yishi, which is based on that razor. So it's kind of the same, kind of the same build, but I'm gonna go with, these are heavier. So it's made out of different material. Maybe this is brass, but it's not as solid right here at the end, so this is a little more solid. It's got more beef to it, if you will. And since it's a global shave company, and uh, the whole, it's the Java shave, uh, line and all that <laughs> mm. ah, Folgers but no Sheldon Quinn I'm um, to understand I just watched Mark Zoraidi and I'm um, to understand that uh, Sheldon is gonna also offer a coffee scented soap and uh, who doesn't want that right that sounds fantastic but um, basically, I've got the same setup for this shave. Um, one thing is different. I am not going to use the same bore brush because, well, I like to give them a, a break. I don't use them twice in a row. So I'm going to go with the 400. And I am going with uh, um, Derby soap again. So I am going to get some hot water upstairs, do a routine, and uh, we'll get a shave going. And I'll go through what we're going to use after the hot water routine. And I just checked. I'm not paused. I'm recording. <laughs> so uh, to the derby stick here. Um, real quick about the channel I just watched. Mark Zoraidi. I had subscribed to him earlier. And I haven't gotten really... I can't talk in order today. I really haven't been able to watch too many videos, but I just watched his, and that's a good channel. So go check him out. S-Z-O-R-A-D-Y. He pronounces it. He just said how to pronounce it in his review video, Zoraidi. Kind of like Zorro, right? Next thing he'll have a bandana with cut out eyes and a Zorro hat on. That'd be a good logo for his channel, wouldn't it? But yeah, go check him out. He did, he does a good review on the, the razor that I'm using today. Well, he used the espresso. But uh, he was saying in the video that they, uh, they Sheldon is looking at maybe making the razor adjustable. So making some changes to this design, which if you leave it as is, it's great. But it's his company. He's a entrepreneur, as uh, Mark was saying. Quite the martial entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Yeah, he's from Canada. <laughs> That's where I got that. <laughs> And the items are not available yet. They will be. So they're not on the market. So this is kind of a test run. And I am absolutely delighted that I was picked along with Mark to be a part of this. It's uh, That's really neat. I really appreciate the opportunity. And I hope I do it justice. Mark used um, 
the Tabak in his review, which is a great soap. I'm going to paint some water on both sides just by adding to the tip. I'll do a little more. It can handle it. even add more we'll see I've been up for a very long time and uh, I did something different this morning at about uh, I'd say 430 I came up here and put on some of the aqua velva five-in-one balm and the reason I did that is to whoops I did that to hydrate my beard In case you were wondering, that bit of lather fell right on my my second toe. It's still on there. And if you want to know the truth, it's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> All right, I think that's a great a great lather. It doesn't taste good. Still on there, on the side. Okay, <laughs> goofy, I know. Jeez, old Pete's. Uh, the blade I've chosen is a Gillette Wilkinson sword. Kind of my go-to blade. Doesn't work in every razor that I own, but it is a great blade. And I know I'm gonna get a good blade every time, pretty much. I don't think I've ever had a dud. And I ordered a hundred pack, so. Came in the two 50 packs, the saloon packs. Salon, saloon, what's my mind on? No. Uh, here we go. This is the Americano. And pass one. At the end of the video, I will read from the packet that he gave me. And discuss more of the features but uh, for now I'm gonna enjoy a good-looking razor and a smooth shave very nice good combo There is some overhang, and I did just kind of touch my nose with the overhang there, but it didn't cut. That's good. I'm getting the cross grain here out of the way. Do it now. Oh, there too. <laughs> All right, let's finish the with the green here. When you wake up early and you're on a diet. There's nothing to do. You can't eat because you're on said diet. I make coffee. That's why I'm shaking. But earlier I was going to say this is a, it's not an aggressive razor nor is it necessarily really mild. It's kind of in between but leaning mild. So, it can benefit from a slightly 
I, what would you classify Gillette Wilkinson for? I would say slightly leaning aggressive, but you could stick a feather in this and it would be great. It would be a good shave. You can stick a sharper blade. It can. It would pair well with a sharper blade as well as a medium. So anywhere from medium to sharp would be good. All right, I'm gonna add some water to my face and uh, lather some more. Okie doke. Boy, I dialed that in just right. Geo Fat Boy. Clear the runways. I like that. That's good. I'm stealing that. Using it, whatever. <laughs> All right. I'm going to dry the handle off here. It is knurled. Um, I don't know what style you would call that. So there is some grip. But, uh. I just, I like that to be dry. So here we go, Americano. The Global Shave System, this is cross grain. Now I've really angled my razor out. So it is, like I said, it leans towards the mild side. And if you angle that out like that, It bites good. Good reason. That is a great combo. That is really comfortable. I already did the stash, didn't I? I'm not working until later today when the snow melts somewhat. We might get something done, we'll see. But I figured instead of posting the video tonight, or doing the shave then posting it tonight, both tonight I would do the, you know, both in the morning. Pump it out, pump the video out. a little more here. I mean that's good soap. I am gonna order some more of that. It's the same as Arco pretty much I think. It smells a little different and Arco performs well. Who doesn't want to change up scent every once in a while? Even if even if you don't mind the one you have, the variety is good. Always miss right there, so I'm gonna get it this time. Okay.
And that is really smooth, really smooth shade. I can't wait to see the, uh, the soap. I know I've got the cart before the horse. He's not even really finished with the razor yet, but oh man, I just, I don't know. That's going to be neat. Alright, and then down here, I do my best to go against the grain. And this is a good go against the grain razor. Good buffing razor. Okay. Just add water and that's slick again. Really nice. I've gotten a, wow, that's a good, that's a good shave. <laughs> All right, let's get into this post. That's a close shave, ladies and gentlemen. That is a close shave. Ah, cheers. I think you're supposed to cheers before you take a drink, right? Some uh, witch hazel here. Matter of fact, I'll read about the razor now while that is drying. I'll read what this uh, paragraph says. A stunning work of art, a true American classic, built for and guaranteed for life. Inspired by the Gillette flare tip rocket of the 1950s, the Global Shave Americano shaves as good as it looks, which I agree, it shaves great. Americano is designed to become a family heirloom passed down throughout the generations. I'd be happy to give that to my son one day, for sure. Preci uh, pre precisionally crafted Americano is a mild razor. Yeah, it is mild, yet efficient and easy to use. Blade changes are a snap, and they are. It's a, uh, you may know, a uh, twist to open, TTO, barn doors, butterfly, whatever you want to call that. Very, very nice. And I'll get into the specs. He talks about the 34C from Merker, the Parker 99R, and the Edwin Dag uh, Jagger. DE89, I'm not going to cover the specs on that, but uh, I'm going to cover the specs down here. Twist to open. The country of manufacture is China. It's Prince's Brass, and then it's anodized and gold plated. So that's the, the uh, gun metal and gold plating. It comes in at 2.2 ounces and a three and a quarter inch in length. And in the box, you'll get a uh, razor stand and a razor blade, which that's nice. And the MSRP is $29.99. That's really good considering it has a lifetime warranty. And I don't think you would even need to employ that warranty. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stick around for you. 
I would think anyway. So where's the article about the company? This is the espresso with the stand. So if you can see that, that's a, it's a sharp little stand. Um, let's see if I can't find the one. This is what the box is going to look like for the espresso. That's really, really nice. Get that coffee look. That's really cool. Uh, that's a, okay. Uh, designer. Uh, strong brass chassis. Completely anodized in black, except for the butterfly doors, which are gold. We already said that. It does. It says here it makes for a striking combination. I agree. It's, it's a collectible. Built for a lifetime. Gentle personality. I think this is kind of like the... It, this is just kind of a recap here of what we just said. But this is kind of like the... I would say the businessman mild razor, if you ask me. So... It's just a really sharp really sharp razor and I like the other one too which is underneath my towel Let's show that again this is Nordic brass that's just so cool looking kind of antique looking really nice really cool but uh, I'd say out of the two this is my the, my favorite one as far as looks go that is really nice looking all right Get into some aftershave. Got some gold power. I did find a website that sells the Arco Action, and I did order three. So we'll see how long. It's supposed to get here today. I ordered it Saturday. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Ah, man, that smells good. All right, a little bit of unscented lotion. A very small amount. And this is when just a just a little bit of water. Just a little little drop. This is when I feel around here. Good shave. Very good shave. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I'm starting to repeat myself. Man, that's very nice shave. <laughs> I did it again. Well, there you have it. Very good. This is going to make it into the rotation for sure. The other one too. These are going to make it into the rotation. I'm interested to see if you do, uh, Mr. Quinn, Sheldon Quinn, if you do make changes to this. Uh, like Mark said, these may become, or he used this one and said it may become adjustable at some point. I don't know if you're going to do that with this one, but I'd uh, be interested to see that. And uh, anyway, you have a, this is a fantastic look. This is a fantastic look. They both shave. I've shaved with this. I didn't catch it on film. Sorry about that. But it's the same shave with this one. Awesome, awesome shave. And uh, you're on to something here. Very good. Very good. I wouldn't think that the, the other kind of similar razor that I have will last as long as these. So there it is. Thank you very much. I'm glad to have been a part of this. And uh, I hope I did it justice for you. But with that, I hope you're having good shaves, everyone. And I uh, hope you're having a good week. The weekend is tomorrow. One day left. Get the kid. I get the booger. It's my weekend. I can't wait. But uh, until next time, have some good shaves and don't nick yourself. Take care.